Welcome back. It's been 30 years since floods devastated parts of Kansas and Missouri. In order to reduce the risk of flooding and improve reliability, the U.S. Army Corps of Engineers has been looking at the past to build a better future. The Great Flood of 1993 covered nine states, close to 400,000 square miles, and lasted nearly 200 days in spots. Hundreds of levees failed, and in total, there was nearly $15 billion in damage. Today, the calm flow of the Kansas and Missouri rivers gives the Kansas City Levee Program an opportunity to make improvements to reduce the risk of history repeating itself. In the 1993 flood event, we saw waters crest within a few inches of the top of levee and the top of flood walls. Scott Mensing is the KC Levees Program Manager for the U.S. Army Corps of Engineers. The KC Levees Program started about 20 years ago. Following the 1993 flood, studies were done to determine if there was a need to improve levees and flood walls. They performed as designed, but there were concerns with water seeping through the levee wall that could lead to erosion. The project is generally a raise of about five feet on average to 17 miles of levees and flood walls. We're also constructing about 130 relief wells. We're modifying over a dozen pump stations. Uh, we're with two full replacements. With the Missouri River portion completed, they are now focused on the Kansas River levees and walls. The project is set to be completed in 2026. Our project will reduce flood, reduce the risk of flooding by 200% for those within these three levee units. The existing levees and flood walls today have a frequency of about one major event every 330 years. The improvements will reduce that to one major event every 650 years when completed. And that is a comforting stat when you look at the impacts flooding would have in that area alone along the Kansas River portion of the project. There's 30,000 people that live and work behind just these three levy units, over $10 billion of infrastructure. It's a nationally critical warehouse distribution transportation hub. Um, it's one of the largest rail hubs in the nation. Pretty impressive project there. And if the train traffic did have to shut down in the Kansas City Metro, it could cause weeks to months of delays nationwide.